Hello my friend, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top five things that happened in the world in the year 2023. Some of them you may already know. I've put this together with some reflection and with some research and there might be a little bit of focus on India. So here are the top five things that happened in 2023. Number five. I want to get the sad stuff out of the way first. So we had a big war between Israel and Hamas, and we had an ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine. Uh, we had uh, an earthquake in Turkey, a wildfire in Hawaii and Canada, and in general, it was the hottest year uh, ever recorded, which is a little bit alarming. On the positive note, COVID seems to have finally left us, uh, and yet there is another variant that has been discovered, so fingers crossed about that. Number four, we're going to turn our attention to India. So India landed on the moon, on the south pole of the moon, and being the first country to do so, India hosted the G20, which was really a big deal, and there were delegates uh, from all over the world that came. India also happened to become the most populated country in the world in 2023, and uh, we saw some strain in the relations between Canada and India, unfortunately, just some political stuff. And in general, by the way, uh, things seem to be a little bit difficult in Canada with immigration and increasing uh, inflation and so on. Now we move on to sport and to my favorite sport, which is football. We were still enjoying uh, Messi's victory in the 2022 World Cup that happened right at the end of the year. He won the Ballon d'Or and he also moved to Inter Miami in the US, which was a shock. On the other hand, Ronaldo moved to Saudi Arabia for the most expensive contract in history. Uh, Manchester City won the treble and in terms of cricket, India had hosted the 2023 Cricket World Cup and unfortunately lost in the finals to Australia. Number two, coming to movies. So this was the year of the super hit Barbie, uh, which I think everybody is going to remember, but also Oppenheimer. Uh, there were also some notable movies like the Super Mario movie, uh, the latest Mission Impossible, and in India, the most popular was Javan. Uh, in terms of the Oscars, everything, everywhere, all at once swept all the awards. And the number one thing that happened in 2023, can you guess? It's AI. AI has become so mainstream over this year. People have started using it to write their essays, to create content for making videos for their websites. Uh, it's been the year of generative AI to create images and videos, and who knows where this is going to go next. Okay, so a little bonus before we finish. Uh, we are going to talk about some things to look forward to in the year 2024. First of all, it's going to be a leap year, which means there's going to be one extra day. It's also going to be the year of the Olympics, as well as the Euros in football and the T20 uh, World Cup in cricket. I'm sure it's going to be another meteoric rise for AI with uh, virtual reality and augmented reality becoming more and more mainstream. And we might start seeing laws around the AI regulation as well. And a few quick things to look forward to. Uh, it's going to be the year of the US president elections, the Indian prime minister elections. Indonesia is going to have a new capital. It's a planned city. You can uh, look it up. There is going to be a manned mission to Mars after many, many years uh, with people of color and women also landing on the moon. Uh, in general, there is this whole race for space exploration and to colonize Mars. And we're expecting corporations to start becoming more and more environmentally aware and to utilize electric cars, electric helicopters, and basically undo their carbon footprint. So that was my collection of the top things that happened in 2023 and what to look forward to in 2024. I am going to be making another video which is more personal in nature where we reflect on the year that went by for us and setting intentions for the new year. Tune into that. Do you feel I've missed anything out on this video or would you like to add any more comments? Leave a comment uh, down below. I'll see you in the next video.